Hi everybody, welcome back to Daisy. and in this video I'm going to show you how to add more of the new Humvee um, to your servers and we're also going to look at how you could make them spawning complete with all the bits on like you can see here and also I'm going to leave you some hints and tips for spawning them in with um, stuff in the boot as well. So I'm going to go through some of the real basics for this as well because I haven't done one of these sorts of videos for a long long time time so what you want to do is you want to go to your server um, I'm using Nitrado as an example here and you'll want to go into the um, go into the web interface and there's a few files we're going to be interested in um, now you want to go into the file browser on your server in here um, and then if you're on a Xbox or PlayStation Nitrado server, you'll find the missions folder fairly fairly easy. It's, it's, it's there almost straight away. PS missions for uh, PlayStation, XB missions for Xbox, and I think it's just missions for PC, but it may well be a couple of directories down. But when you go into here, you'll then see um, uh, just daisyoffline.chenerous if you are on a Chenerous server. If it's a Livonia server, it'll say daisyoffline.enoch, and there'll probably be daisyoffline.chenerous there as well. Uh, if you're on PC and it's a, you can have all sorts of different maps, can't you? It could be Deer Isle or Namalsk and all that sort of stuff. But when we go into, for example, Chenerous, but it'd be the same idea for Livonia or Enoch. The files we really want to look at, we're going to look at today, are CFG event spawns.xml. That's the file that tells the game where it should spawn the Humvees. Um, and we want the CFG spawnable types as well. So these files, click the little green button and you want to download them. Because what I want you to do, download them to your local PC, copy them to another folder, and we're going to edit the copy. So we've always got the originals as backups. And then the other ones we want to look at, if we go into the db directory, we want to download the events.xml. That's the file that tells the, the game how many uh, Humvees it should spawn in. And I tell you what, why don't you download the types.xml as well at the same time? And once you've downloaded them, open them up in your favorite text editor, and you'll have something like this. Now what I've done, that's the events.xml cfg event spawns.xml and then i've got the events and the cfg uh, event spawns for uh, livonia as well as uh, chernerus and then we've got the cfg spawnable types and we've got the types.xml now the humvee or the m102 i think they call it is called the off-road vehicle 2 i think so when you open up the files in your favorite text editor i'm using notepad plus plus here do Control uh, F to find, and if we do off road, I think there we go. Vehicle off road two. So here we go. So this is the vehicle off road two. So as you can see on uh, Chernerus, the nominal number of um, Humvees that should be spawning in at any one time and sort of be sitting on the map ready to be discovered is three. So there's not very many of them at all, is there? Um, and so that these events. Um, we'll, we'll be on the map if someone gets close enough the vehicle will actually spawn in and then they can find a Humvee um, and then do whatever they want you know with it if they find the bits for it and stuff like that um, if we look at the CFG event spawns.xml this is this actually tells the game where to spawn them so if we do control F uh, look for off-road again so off-road hatchback that's the Ada here we go vehicle off-road hatchback 2 so for Chernerus, there are currently 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, there's 20 potential places for the Humvee to spawn in. So, now I don't recommend you do this, but what you could do is if you wanted to have a Humvee at every single spawn point on your server, you could increase the nominal to 20, have the minimum of 20, have the maximum of 20 as well. And down here, we could change these to 20 and 20 there. There we go. So basically, if you use that sort of setting, um, by maxing out the number of uh, Humvees that could spawn in to match the number of potential spawn points, you'll basically, whenever you go to a spawn point for a Humvee, one will be there um, until players find them and then drive them off. 
<laughs> yeah. and then another one won't appear unless that vehicle gets destroyed um you know and therefore it would then despawn on the next uh, server restart now now i don't recommend you do that unless you've got a very um player friendly server that likes a lot of vehicles but you may want to go up some to something like 10 like this so we could do that as 10 we could do that as in fact do that as eight do that as ten and then down here we could have a maximum of ten and a minimum of eight so the what happens with vehicles um, in Daisy when they're spawning they are tied to the particular event that created them and that's quite important to remember because I know when I first started out off I kind of assumed that as soon as, soon as someone had taken a vehicle from a spawn point and drove it away when it was safe to do so the game was spawn in another vehicle at that spawn point that will only happen if the the maximum number of vehicles has not been um, reached if it has already been reached then nothing else will happen until that until one of those vehicles is gone and then another one will spawn in so that's what you can do to increase the actual number of humvees that are spawning in um this i, I I wanted to look at this file just to kind of show you. So the CFG event spawns is, is nice and simple for things like vehicle events. Um, and basically, all, what you can see here is the X position and the Z position, so the coordinates that it spawns in, and the A is the angle that the Humvee will spawn in, so it kind of matches its environments. Um, so if you wanted to, you could go into the Eyes of Eye map, for example, and you could find some particular locations, and you could add some more events if you want, more, more places. Just remember to try and keep... The, where you're spawning in on a nice flat location um, away from where other events might spawn um, and where and try and keep it away from things that might um, make the vehicle get stuck like fences and signposts and things like that um, so the other thing we were going to talk about was how do you make the vehicle spawning complete and that is handled by the CFG spawnable types.xml so if you open up that file and do a control F look for off-road Got the off-road hatchback, off-road hatchback blue, off -road, right, off vehicle uh, type equals off-road two. And um, what the CFG spawnable types does, it says to the game, right, okay, when you spawn in a vehicle of type off-road O2, these are the chances that it will spawn in with these particular items. So if we look at the wheels, for example, here, so the, the first wheel, so this might be the, probably the front right wheel, um, has a chance of 0.8 of spawning in on the vehicle and if we look at all of the wheels actually there we go one two three four you see they've all got an 80 percent chance 0.8 chance of spawning in this final one here this wheel that's the spare wheel that's in that's in the bunk in the uh, in the boot of the vehicle so if you wanted to change it so that this um the humvee spawned in with its wheels already on it you would change all of these values to one like so so 100% in other words. So you would do that. And then every single Humvee that spawned in would spawn in with all its bits on. All of its uh, wheels on, sorry. And then if you scroll down, you'll see you've got other things. So you've got all the panels for the car. So we've got the trunk, the hood, the doors. And therefore, you know, say you want them to spawn in. So the attachment chance is one. So that means 100% anyway. But then the kind of the child underneath this, the item, is 0.6. So again, if you wanted it, all of them to spawn in with that on, you could change that to 1.00. And you can do that with all of the things. So you've got the headlight there that you could put in. So you have headlights. Will it spawn in with the glow plug in the engine? Will it spawn in with a car battery on? And so you could change those all to 1.00 and your vehicle would spawn in with all that stuff. However, what you can also do is make it spawn in with stuff in the boot. And if we go back to the Humvee, um, and we have a look in the boot, we'll see actually can hold 300, which is pretty big. That, that, that's, that's very nice. So what you can do, if you do this very carefully, if underneath the last entry for like the car battery, if you say copy that, make a bit of a space here and then we paste that in we could even put a, um, a remark here so left uh, arrow bracket exclamation mark stuff in the hum v boot dash dash right 
arrow key. So that, that is just a remark, that thing you can see in green. And what we can now do is say, okay, so what would you want to put in the boot? Well, how about um, some fuel? So if you go to your types.xml, so the types.xml has almost all of the types of loot and that will spawn on the map, whether that might be via an event or just via appearing and disappearing and that sort of thing. So you can find the proper names for everything. So if we search for, I'm going to, am I probably going to get this right? I think it's gasoline. Here we go. Yeah. So if you search for gasoline, you'll see there is a type name canister gasoline. So if we take this and we copy that and we paste that over here and we change the chance to 1.00. .00. Every Humvee will spawn in now, once we've uh, saved this, uploaded it, and restarted our server, will we'll spawn in with a canister of ga uh, gas, canister of petrol in the boot. And you can keep doing this. And this is a really good way, especially on console, to spawn in loot onto servers. The way I do it on my servers is I use this to spawn in all sorts of hunting equipment and fishing equipment and, and weapons and things like that. Um, now just remember that you've only got 300 worth of space so you can't go completely mad but that is quite a lot of space so the next thing we could do is maybe uh, let's go to the types what else um, say a, a compass is always good isn't it so control uh, let's find uh, oh I tell you what how about a GPS receiver we could put the GPS receiver couldn't we so let's copy that let's put that over there there we go and so that's the GPS receiver and you, so on and so forth so you can add other things to, to the boot of the Humvee um, and then all you need to do is then you you would save that file um, save your events file go back to your um, server in the directories where these files came from simply hit upload to upload your new file on top of the old one and then hit restart and that will then restart your server and the changes will take effect. Now, one thing you should do as well, actually, which I shouldn't have mentioned, and I'll put these links in the description below the video, you always want to be validating your XML file. So once you've made your changes, validate the XML because it is very, very easy, trust me, very, very easy uh, indeed to make spelling mistakes when you are um, doing things like this. And for example, miss out a bracket um, or copy and paste and, and go over, you know, and miss out an uh, inverted comma or a, a quotation mark. But by validating the XML, you will spot um, some of those errors and be able to correct them before you put them onto your server. So there we go. Hopefully that's useful. So what we've done, you know, we've shown you how to spawn in more Humvee so there's more of them on your server. Kind of we covered a little bit of how to add custom spawn points. But we've also covered uh, how to make them spawn in with all their bits and also with bits in the boot. Right, if you found this useful, hit like. If you want to see more of the same, press subscribe. And I will, of course, see you again soon.